Roblox developers create some of the world's most played content ever. However, many of them suddenly quit after becoming incredibly successful. Today, we'll dive into why this is. Roblox is a game with a fan base made up of majority children. If you asked a random person the average age of a Roblox player, you'd likely get the answer of 13. However, Roblox developers aren't often the same age. When they reach success or one of their games take off, they're usually at least in their mid-teens. Therefore, it's no surprise there's a strong disconnect between Roblox users slash players and Roblox developers' interests. Often, Roblox games take off and explode in popularity due to their light-hearted and simplistic nature. I mean, it's really no surprise with the bedrock of Roblox being that way. Kids spend hours playing Minecraft, rip-offs of Minecraft, or Roblox. However, this issue comes in when a Roblox developer dedicates hours upon hours into brand new updates or games that their young audience can't appreciate. For example, Roblox developer and YouTube creator SmartyRBX, one of his games which was incredibly basic and in his own words, pretty dumb, became his most successful project ever. In his video titled, Most Roblox Developers Quit, The Sad Truth, he details this as one of the most problematic aspects of becoming a Roblox developer, that the games you think will just be a stupid fun thing to do on the side become your most popular, known, and profitable games. This causes a variety of problems. How can you maintain passion when the game you succeeded with was something you don't care about? Most Roblox developers want to turn their passion into money or a career. However, a large portion of the time, they end up being forced into making something they hate. To go even further, this applies to YouTube channels, businesses, and really anything that involves passion. Often your talents and success are far from personal passion and desire. It applies especially so to Roblox developers due to the fleeting and often brain rot driven popularity of Roblox games. And don't even take our word for it. We have games like Toilet Defense Simulator, Royal High, and even Blocks Fruits, dominating the charts. Though these games are enjoyed by many, most of the developers have outgrown this content. While we'd like to stress that this is by no means the fault of any Roblox players as majority of them and the people watching this video are children, there's certainly a very big argument to be made here. Roblox developers put all their time into projects that get absolutely nowhere, only to have things they're not proud of in the slightest, become massive overnight successes. However, despite what we've mentioned before about Roblox players being majority of children, it'd be a stretch to call the Roblox community calm, collected, or even peaceful. In reality, the game has one of the most toxic communities on the internet. To get an understanding of how bad the problem is, you just need to take a look at the Roblox YouTube community. Left and right, stupid dramas where absolutely nobody did anything wrong appear all the time. People making fun of the illnesses and death of others, and this isn't even the worst part. The Roblox community, similar to that of Minecraft YouTubers, has a serious problem with awful bad actors amassing huge power, fame, and money. Take for example Kaneko Kitten. He was one of the biggest drama creators in the Roblox scene, but behind all the cameras, committed some of the most deplorable acts by a human. However, things get even more depressing when you take into account that this behavior extends even further to community Roblox developers are involved in. Doxing, swatting, and harassment are just three of the many deranged and disgusting behaviors many Roblox developers have to deal with. But on the other hand, not all Roblox developers are perfect angels. In fact, some can be downright criminal. Therefore, the next reason Roblox developers end up quitting is exposure for their own horrifying acts. Take for example, the case of Hilo, a weirdo Roblox dev who was exposed for some alarming behavior. He was the developer of one of Roblox's most popular games of all time, Tower Heroes, yet faced serious accusations that severely damaged his reputation. While Hilo was able to escape them, many can't as the allegations are irrefutable, and it stretches further into the Roblox YouTube community. Kaneko Kitten, Nathorix, Mr. Obvious, and even more prominent and powerful community members have been exposed. The Roblox community is filled with and in some senses, a magnet for horrific people. Roblox developers, therefore, are in a way incentivized to be horrible people. Who else would want power in a space filled with children? It really makes you wonder, are the people who become Roblox developers all good?
good people, or instead terrible, horrific, and scary predators who use their power to take advantage of the young and vulnerable fans of Roblox. However, reputational damage from accusations of predatorial behavior or degeneracy aren't the only reasons. In fact, hate could be considered a huge reason why some Roblox developers go ghost. While he hasn't quit yet, the massive wave of hatred towards the developer of Pet Simulator X, Preston from Big Games, is certainly an example of this immense hatred that could cause someone to quit. Throughout his time developing Pet Simulator X, Preston has faced serious critique over various terrible decisions he has made. Many have began to hate him due to bad updates and an over-the-top focus on profit. In simple terms, his reputation has become diminished due to his complete lack of care for the game and the community that plays it. And although it's remained massively popular, there's no doubt Pet Simulator X and Preston have suffered hugely as a result. From his many immoral and stupid actions, Preston has earned the label of Roblox's most hated developer. Whether that label is justified, deserved, or uncalled for is entirely up to you. However, with hate videos amassing hundreds of thousands to millions of views, and many members of the Roblox community calling out his seemingly immoral actions, there's certainly an argument to be made here. Any normal person who wasn't strongly driven by money or ego would most certainly be driven down a dark and disturbing path after receiving the level of hate he has. But substance use and more are definitely still on the table. But one action, which is almost a given, is quitting Roblox development for good, as it'd be best for their mental state long term. However, there's another less nefarious reason that many devs quit. As we mentioned earlier, the age gap is certainly a reason many quit, and it's important we raise that as people, and therefore Roblox devs, get older. Their priorities certainly shift. A 17 year old is going to be a lot more focused on education, jobs, and everything outside of Roblox development if they wish to live a normal life. It's no secret that maturity, development, and most importantly, aging out, have a huge impact on the longevity of Roblox developers and their careers. Whether that's good, bad, or in between though, is entirely up to you as the viewer. The final reason why Roblox developers quit though, is very shocking, decline. Well, it's two reasons. The first is perhaps more speculative. Surprisingly, a lot of Roblox developers make reasonable money at the moment. It's a chance to make a decent income. However, time and good things don't last forever. At a point, Roblox and its relevance will dip. We've seen this in the case of so many other games throughout their lifespans. Call of Duty, Valorant, Minecraft, all games that were as, or even more popular than Roblox, they all went through downward spirals. Well at the moment, it seems Roblox is on the up and up, barely anything lasts forever, and there is an almost zero chance it still stays relevant. However when this happens, being a Roblox developer will become less profitable, and by no fault of their own, many Roblox developers will be forced to quit. However, the next is a little more dark, even if they stick by Roblox development to the end. Throughout humanity, there are always two givens, life and death. Whether we deny it or not, everyone will come to the end at some point. Roblox is a game mostly played by kids and is one of the most popular games in the entire world. And although many wonderful games are developed on the platform, many horrible games and people also flourish in the community. While the issue of Roblox developers quitting seemingly randomly appears in isolation, it is not only a part of the Roblox dev community. In fact, it spreads much wider. Roblox is a very tantient game. It is not solid in any way, shape or form. And in a way, this is a big part of the problem. It almost has no order, but an even bigger problem that is not always discussed. The dark side of Roblox. Players left, right and centre face or propagate serious issues such as doxing, racism and inappropriate behaviour. In the past on this channel, we've talked about the degeneracy surrounding the Minecraft community and in our exploration of the many horrific citizens surrounding Surrounding Roblox, a different argument has emerged. Roblox may have a worse problem than Minecraft. It's a game that's been shown to harbour the worst people imaginable, and the stuff that we see as viewers is only the tip of the iceberg. There is even worse people we've yet to cover on the channel, and we have no doubt that things may get even more alarming as time goes on. But regardless of this, there is a lot of great things in the community, and we hope that Roblox as a game continues to grow and get larger for all 
of its positives. The lesson of this all is to be wary and conscious. Nothing lasts forever and not everyone you come across is going to be a great human being. Paranoia is not a virtue but awareness. Well, it may as well be one, especially in a community like Roblox that can be so dark and morbid. We hope that by watching this video, you've garnered a better understanding of Roblox and the dangers and lights developers face and sometimes perpetrate. But as always, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy content like this, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch something similar to this, click the video on screen now.